It's going to become serious now. If this is confirmed to be accurate, the Federal Reserve will be incensed. It seems like Shiba Inu is about to make history. To find something extraordinary, we had to go far into the Shiba Inu's heritage. Want to know for sure? Afterwards, be sure to watch this video all the way through. You can't possibly miss a moment of it. Welcome to Dr. Crypto, your daily serving of Shiba. This is the spot for you if you're curious about anything related to Shiba. If you want to keep informed about all the latest news forecasts and stay ahead of the curve in the crypto industry, subscribe. To get more ship news, be sure to click the like button. In case you were unaware, the notion of global interconnectedness plays a crucial role in the complex running of the globe, especially when it comes to international commerce. The capacity of nations to participate in commerce with one another is frequently a prerequisite for both their survival and development, since countries are interconnected via a complex web of economic interactions. In case you were unaware, nations are unable to function independently in terms of resources, technology, and products. Through access to resources and commodities that they would not have locally and the ability to specialize in producing items and services in which they have a comparative advantage, international commerce serves as a nation's lifeblood. In case you were unaware, cross-border transactions are an essential component of international commerce that include the transfer of money, products, and services across nations. These are large-scale transactions that often include values in the billions of dollars per day. To fulfill the many needs and wants of people all over the globe, the global economy mostly depends on the smooth movement of commodities and services across national boundaries. In case you were unaware, economic exchanges across nations promote collaboration, provide prospects for expansion, and aid in the establishment of an international trade arena. Additionally, they are essential in forging diplomatic connections and fostering international understanding. If you didn't know, nations in the globe are reliant on one another for commodities, technology, and resources, essentially operating as a highly linked system. The constant flow of cross-border transactions, which often involve large quantities of money, is a fundamental aspect of the global economy that is formed by it. Determining the prosperity and well-being of countries. And here is where the issue appears. A number of difficulties arise when transacting internationally with conventional currencies, which may reduce the efficacy and efficiency of global commerce. The difficulty of dealing with many currencies, each with its own value and exchange rate, is one major problem. Because of this variety, transactions become more complicated, making it more difficult for people and companies to forecast expenses and results. Furthermore, using conventional currencies sometimes necessitates using middlemen banks and other financial organizations, which adds to transaction fees and delays. Reliance on these middlemen may cause the whole process to bog down, impeding the quick movement of products and services across international boundaries. This delay raises the total costs related to cross-border commerce, in addition to having an effect on transaction speed. Furthermore, there are many regulations governing conventional cross-border transactions, and they are complicated, and can differ dramatically across nations. Getting about in a variety of regulatory regimes takes a lot of time, money, and experience. Increasing the level of complexity of doing business internationally. Cryptography offers a solution precisely in this situation. Many of the difficulties that come with doing cross-border transactions traditionally are resolved by using cryptocurrency. With their decentralized blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies provide a more transparent and effective payment option than conventional currencies. The need of various exchange rates and currency conversions is eliminated by cryptocurrencies. They are a form of value that is worldwide and transcends national boundaries, making transactions easier and the complexity of working with different fiat currencies less. Cross-border transactions are made quicker and more affordable by this streamlining effect. The intermediary is eliminated by the decentralized structure of cryptocurrency. Transactions take place directly between parties, without the need for middlemen banks or financial organizations. By doing away with extra expenses related to conventional banking procedures, this not only quickens transaction speeds, but also lowers transaction costs. Moreover, security and transparency are guaranteed by the usage of blockchain technology. 
Every transaction is entered into a tamper-proof ledger, which offers a history of trades that can be verified and tracked. In addition to lowering the possibility of fraud, this openness boosts trust in the dependability of the transaction process. Considering that the present world's reserve currency is the US dollar, it becomes interesting to examine how the Federal Reserve's conventional monetary policies compare to the creative characteristics of cryptocurrencies. In this regard, some contend that in comparison to the qualities provided by cryptocurrencies, the Federal Reserve has had difficulties and in some cases, failed. As the nation's central bank, the U.S. Federal Reserve sets monetary policies that have the power to affect the U.S. dollar's value and stability. However, central banks' policies, which may include measures like interest rate changes and quantitative easing, apply to conventional currencies like the U.S. dollar. Opponents contend that these actions sometimes have unforeseen repercussions, such as inflation, imbalances in the economy, and instability in the world financial system. On the other hand, cryptocurrencies function based on algorithmic and decentralized principles, often having a limited quantity. The purpose of this set supply is to reduce inflationary pressures and provide a level of predictability that is thought to be absent from typical fiat currencies. However, the acceptance of cryptocurrencies is where they diverge most from the U.S. currency. As the main reserve currency of the globe, the U.S. dollar is extensively used and acknowledged in international commerce and banking. Its extensive usage adds to the stability and familiarity of the current financial system and makes it the preferred medium of exchange for a broad range of transactions. Conversely, although growing in popularity, cryptocurrencies, particularly Shiba Inu, are not as widely used. Different nations and businesses have varying degrees of cryptocurrency acceptability and acknowledgement. While some organizations have embraced cryptocurrencies wholeheartedly, others are still dubious about them or haven't integrated them into their financial operations. It will be difficult for cryptocurrencies to compete on the same level as conventional fiat currencies because of this adoption gap. The liquidity and stability of cryptocurrencies may be impacted by their low adoption in traditional trade and financial institutions, which may restrict their potential to replace or seriously threaten more established currencies like the US dollar. Cryptocurrencies are still in the early stages of adoption, despite their novel characteristics and prospective advantages like decentralization and transparency. To get closer to the adoption and usage of conventional fiat currencies like the US dollar, cryptocurrencies must first overcome acceptance obstacles, get regulatory certainty, and gain global awareness. And Shiba Inu comes into play right now. Shiba Inu's grand aim to enroll 1 billion individuals was recently revealed by Shatoshi Kusama and has caused a stir of both intrigue and skepticism in the cryptocurrency industry. The sheer size of this objective, 1 billion people, invites conjecture on the specifics of the plan and tactics Shiba Inu may use to accomplish such a huge undertaking. In the lack of concrete details, supporters and detractors have started formulating ideas to explain this bold goal. One notion gaining momentum and arousing substantial attention argues that Shiba Inu might be planning a project targeted towards facilitating cross-border intermediary commerce. This conjecture is justified by the difficulties that come with doing business internationally, especially when there are middlemen involved. Problems with cross-border transactions include slow processing delays, expensive transaction fees, and a lack of transparency, all of which make for a subpar customer experience. If Shiba Inu is developing a system to expedite and simplify cross-border intermediate transactions, this would be in line with the worldwide reach of the cryptocurrency industry and would alleviate a significant issue for companies and people involved in cross-border trade. A project like this may draw a sizable user base by providing a more effective and affordable substitute for conventional techniques. The billion user goal suggests a comprehensive and creative strategy. In this particular scenario, one of the few theories that may plausibly support such an ambitious objective is the idea of a cross-border commerce solution. With the ability to upend current practices in international trade, Shiba Inu has the potential to become a major participant in the cryptocurrency market and attract a wide range of users.
It was previously disclosed that Shiba Inu developers are actively working on a Shiba Inu stablecoin, which adds even more mystery to the story. The lack of recent updates on this progress has led to conjecture that this stablecoin could be intended for widespread acceptance rather than being just another cryptocurrency to enter the market. The concept of a worldwide Shiba Inu stablecoin adds an intriguing element to the audacious goal of enrolling 1 billion users. Stablecoins are sometimes seen as a dependable link between the erratic cryptocurrency market and established financial institutions since they are backed by well-known currencies, most notably the US dollar. If Shiba Inu is, in fact, developing a stablecoin with an eye toward international acceptance, this fits with the story of promoting wider usage and easing cross-border transactions. It may have been a calculated strategic choice to work on such a project in relative quiet. A stablecoin's worldwide acceptance requires resolving a number of legal, technological, and operational issues. Shiba Inu may be managing these complications by keeping progress under wraps until they are prepared to provide a full answer, avoiding needless attention or conjecture in the process. In the world of cryptocurrency, big announcements are often preceded by quiet, so the Shiba Inu team may be able to control expectations while honing their stablecoin concept using this strategy. Pursuing worldwide implementation requires careful preparation, calculated collaborations, and adherence to several foreign laws, all procedures that would benefit from a separate development stage. In conclusion, a magnificent vision for Shiba Inu is painted by the interaction of Shitoshi Kozama's declaration, the enormous onboarding objective, and the rumors of a cross-border intermediate commerce project. If this notion turns out to be true, it may be a game-changer for the cryptocurrency industry, with Shiba Inu leading the way in creative solutions for hitherto unheard of levels of international commerce. However, what are your thoughts about that? Please leave a comment below. I look forward to reading your thoughts. The day is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To see our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.